Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea from Stem APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember in the last tutorial, I showed you how to use your Raspberry Pi in conjunction with your RFID uh, MFRC 522 module. And I show you how we can use this to read cards, write cards, and all of that good stuff. In this tutorial, what I'm going to show you is we're going to take it a step further and this is we're not going to be using Py, the python bridge anymore we are doing all rust so in this one let me just show you what i'm going to do i'm going to follow along the menu right so it's going to it's asking me to read a card uid so i'm going to say yes so now i get a card ready it gives me five seconds to get the card to the module it reads my the uid okay so we're we're good so that's good is i'm now gonna try to read a block and it's going to let's say read block eight and let's do key a default custom key no i don't have one yet so now i put the card next to it and Voila, he found something in there that I had put there before. And, and that was from the last tutorial, if you remember. So now let's, this is the big test now. I'm going to try to change that. I'm going to write it. So I'm going to do write block eight. So it will be block eight. I'm going to do text, yes. I'm going to use text. I'm now I'm going to say hello YouTube enter I'm going to use key a default again hopefully it will work I don't have a custom key yet confirm the right yes get the card ready next to it and boom it says block written successfully. Now let's read it and make sure that it did. Eight, block eight, key A. Custom key, don't have one yet. Get your card ready. Could not detect it, don't worry. Sometimes it does that. It has a problem resetting sometimes. So I'll try again. No. And boom, voila. Hello YouTube. So you can see that it changed. That's all good and great when you're dealing with these type of cards, right? When you're dealing with these type of cards, which are blank when you buy them on Amazon, right? But what about if you're dealing with a commercial card like this one that I have here that is actually is it's being written on already and I did not buy it from from uh, Amazon. So now this is a whole different ball game, right? So now I read it get the card to it and it tells me, yes, it read it. So far, so good. Now, when I try to read the block, uh, let's read any block. Let's read block zero. One, custom key, no. Get the car ready to it. And then all of a sudden, authentication fail, okay? That is what is, is what is supposed to do, right? That's part of the security protocol. But now if we use uh, one of these other things that we have available, I can use test keys, right? So let's see what that does. So we go test keys, proceed, yes. I get the card close to the RFID reader. Look at that. 
now he found some stuff that was there that he before he didn't let me see it right so now he's telling me sector zero they found this sector 14 sector 15 right all of a sudden this is very useful information right so now you say enter and now now let's do another a way to get into it and by the way i'll go into detail how to do this in detail where i got this from and all of that good stuff yes five seconds and now it's confirming the same things that it told me before with the test keys would you like to save the recovery keys yes of course it's going to be saved into recover keys text yes enter to continue and now we have information that we didn't have before right we have these very very useful stuff so now all of a sudden we get back to the go back to the return to the main menu and now we go to attempt to read the block again and let's read the block zero again let's see if it works uh key a yes you see the block zero key a and this is the default key right so let me copy so let's do key a use a custom key yes now i have a custom key it's right there so now go yes enter the characters it's this that i got from there i hit enter put the key there next to it it might fail the first time around actually it didn't fail so all of a sudden now i'm able to get in this is the block zero if you know anything about my my fair cards this is the manufacturer's block but let's see what else is there right so we see that in sector 14 there's something there let's see what is in there so let's read a block again two block 14 is using key a is using key a and this default key so it will be key a so it's one custom key yes but now i'm not using that one because that's a different sector now i'm using fff right so do fff get your car ready and voila happy st patrick's day i put that there before so now this is a commercial car by the way so now i want to change that i want to say right block and then change that and say i want to write block 14 because that's the one that we just read we're going to do text yes enter text san patrick's day let's see if there's enough room default is going to be 14 so it will be default right so it'll be key a custom key yes characters fff again confirm st patrick's day oh there's not enough room but yes get the car ready and you could not detect it i told you sometimes it fails the first time write the black again 14 text st patrick's there's no room for day so let's just do st patrick's k 
PA. And then use custom key, yes. Let's try again. Confirm, yes. Prepare your card. Come on, let's see if it works now. Black written successfully. Now let's see if it actually did it. This is not, this is a, <laughs> a real card, by the way, guys. This is not your, your normal card that you get for 32 cents. And let's see, moment of truth. And it could not detect it, of course. <laughs> Let's try again. I gotta fix the reset. And one, yes. Paste. Let's take two. And voila. It's right there. And you can see that it changed the way we wanted to change it. And that's uh that's the power of this um uh, of this uh nested keys attacks and default keys attacks and what i'm using is based on the paper that it was written many years ago it was a practical attack on the myfair classic and this way you are able to i i used it the first part you just write it you do for just to write read and write but let's say that you want to know or you do penetration testing, or you do other stuff that you want to do, you can use that other part of it. And that's, I, it's, like I said, this is based on this paper, and he's using, if you know a little bit about this stuff, it's based on Crypto One's uh, cipher, and you can go and read this paper. It's a very good paper. It was, when it came out, it was a huge, uh, huge deal because all of, he showed how easy it was to break into my fair cards. He was using a ProSmart 3. I'm not using a ProSmart 3 because great product, but it's like 300 bucks right now for the RTV4 kit, so that's almost 350. So that's not what I am. I rather use a, a Raspberry Pi that is uh, $62 plus uh, one of these, and which is $9. So this is what we're going to do. If you can buy this on Amazon for nine bucks, plus uh, if you have a Raspberry Pi around, you can just do that. And we're not going to, I'm not going to show you how to do, I show you in the last tutorial how to, how to do these, right? To do the pins. And I show you how to, SDA goes into pin, 24 SCK and it tells you right there where the which pins are which right and but I'm not going to be doing what they're doing here like you can see most of the a lot of the internet you need a breadboard you need all kinds of stuff you don't need none of that indeed for the to do what I'm showing you here all you need is a pie RFID module uh, this RFID module, one key, or any other key, commercial keys that you get from somewhere to test it, you can, and that's it. That's all you need. And jumper wires, of course, and uh, female jumper wires. These are female jumper wires that goes from from the uh, male right there into your pie, right into the pins of the pie these guys so it's female to female and uh, so that's all you need and we're going to start doing that in the next tutorial uh, this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time with another tutorial take care